Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I want to um, I want to share a story with you. I uh, I believe it will encourage you. I pray that it does. Um, right after I got saved, I uh, I went to this church and I, I believe it maybe it was a Father's Day thing and and on stage they had like the grandfather, the dad, and a and a son like generation. Um, and the pastor, when they were on stage, the pastor had asked them, all three of them, what is your favorite Bible verse? And you know, uh, none of the men could answer the question about what their favorite verse was. I believe they didn't know, no one maybe. So from that, that created a, a hunger within me just to want to know God's word and um, to, to memorize it and just have it hidden away in my heart. And, um, and at that time, I had just been delivered from uh, drugs, and my mind was so far gone, I didn't know how to act. I couldn't, it's like my memory. I had no, uh, I couldn't remember anything, um, like, when, from one second to the next. Like, it was crazy. Uh, and, but that was my prayer, it was for, uh, to, to learn and um, to memorize scripture. So, this is what I did. I'm going to show you something. So, um. Uh, God, so God would give me, I, I just, I just would just pray for God to give me a, a, a verse. And the first few verses I know, knew were to actually, to be able to help me, to be able to bring people into the kingdom of God, like Romans 10, 9. And this is my favorite verse, Romans 10, 9, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God is raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Hallelujah. And after that was like Romans 10, 13, for whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. And Acts 4, 12. Nor is there salvation in any other. There is no, no, no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. And that is by the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Anyway, so that was like the first few. And then it's, it, so this is what I would do. So God would give me a verse to, to memorize, right? So that first one is Revelation 12, 11. And I would write it out, but I would, um, I would actually eventually go type it out. And I would just study it. Just uh, in my mind, I would go over them you know a few times a day or whatever and then and then he would just give me more and i would just learn more and more and i've, I've memorized them and they stay with me and he continues to give me more to memorize and the thing about it not just me my son jade which is 14 now he knows and has memorized every single verse that i have that we've memorized them together so it's just something to encourage you you know god did it for me he will uh he will do it for you. Sad. First John 1 9. Confess our sins. He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Anyway, so he just continues to, to give me more and more scriptures and I've memorized them. So I encourage you, if you don't if you don't think you can memorize scripture, God can fix your mind, He can renew your mind, He can give you the ability to be able to do so. He's done it for me, He'll do it for you. And let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. Come, Holy Spirit. God, we thank you, God, and we worship you. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. God, we thank you, God. And I pray right now just the impartation that you impart to each person that watches this a supernatural hunger for your word, God, and the will to do it, Lord. But I pray just a, a hunger to know your word and to want to memorize it and store it up within their hearts, God, in Jesus' name. Fire of God, come Holy Spirit. And Lord, I pray a renewing of the mind. And Father, just a, a healing in the memory part of the mind. And just the mind to be healed in Jesus' name. And God, just uh, we love you, Lord. And we thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord. I pray deliverance for whoever needs deliverance, Lord. Just a spirit of deliverance come upon them, God, in Jesus' name. You are mighty and you are holy and you can do it. God, I thank you in Jesus' name. And if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, oh man. That is like the best decision you'll ever make in your life. He will change you from the inside out. He will make you a new creation in Christ Jesus. That old stuff, that old anger, the, the drugs and the depression and the alcohol, whatever it is, the thoughts of suicide, eventually lift up off of you and he will replace it with real love, real love, peace and joy and patience and goodness and faithfulness. Uh, God is a good, good. Oh, self-control. Don't forget that one. That's a good one. Jesus name. Uh, God is so good, but he just wants your heart. He wants to change you now while we're on this earth for you to have an abundant life on this earth. But he's coming back soon, and he's coming back. We we have to have the Spirit of God, or is he coming back for you? Um, when we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, the Spirit of God comes in, 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 inside of and lives inside of us, and that's how we're able to change. 
uh, has nothing to do with us. It's all him. And I give God all the glory. Thank you, Lord. Um, I pray that you have a, a blessed day. And um, the Lord would encourage you through other people uh, throughout this day and this week. Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.